finished watching the midnight showing of the Avengers. Why am I whispering? Because everybody's asleep. No, I'm joking. Everybody is asleep, but uh, I'm not going to whisper it during the whole thing. That would be just weird. But um, there will be no reason for the review. I just finished watching the, the midnight showing. And let me just say, oh, such a great movie. I will drop some spoilers, but I'll tell you when I'm about to drop them. So uh, if you haven't seen it and you don't want any spoilers, you can watch this. And then at the end, I'll, I'll drop some spoilers. Um, pretty much, this movie just packs a punch. This movie delivers. This movie is getting great reviews for a reason. Um, everybody has a good amount of time with each other, which I love. Like, you know, you get to see the chemistry and just the, just like the chaos that the Avengers is. You know, the idea to have all these different kinds of people come together to make a team and they're so different and that they play off that and it just it works and like I love how you know some of them just get their own time with each other like you know Cap gets time with Iron Man and and, and you know Thor gets time with you know it just it's just I don't want it's so exciting it's it's such a good movie it's such a good movie oh man I wish I, could, I wish I could just tell you the whole movie, but I'm not going to. But what I will tell you is, it's a great movie. You should really go see it. You should really um, be up to date on the movies, you know. Make sure you see Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Thor, and Captain America before you see this movie. If you haven't seen those movies, you know, you might be like, Oh, I don't understand what's going on, you know. Um, just because of the simple fact that it pretty much picks up where, you know, all those left left you like oh what's going on what's going on you know but um yeah so well, let me drop start dropping spoilers so if you don't want to know anything spoiler wise just don't watch the rest of this um you know in comic books they always you know who would win a fight or, or like when you're when you're a little kid or me i even think like man i'll be cool to see you know Thor and Iron Man in a fight, you know, or, or, you know, the Hulk and Thor, you know, duke it out for a bit, you know, everyone knows the Hulk's gonna win, but I just wanna see him duke it out just for a little bit, you know, see how it goes, and you get that, you get, you get a fight between, you get like three good fights, you get a fight between, and I think they're like kinda equal matches too, cause you get a fight between Thor and Cap, or Thor and uh, Iron Man, first fight. And then Cap kind of jumps in a little bit. And it just shows you how powerful his shield is because his shield is made out of what? Vibranium and animantium. So it's like, it's pretty much an indestructible shield. Um, and like, you know, Thor just tries to drop the hammer on it. And it's like, this shield's not going to break, buddy. But, um, yeah. And then you get Thor versus the Hulk. <sighs> Man, that was, that was a good fight. I... I just wish it would have went longer, you know, because even when, like, Iron Man was fighting Thor, Thor is just a badass. Thor is just like, you know, Iron Man headbutt, headbutts him, and he's like, really? Bah, and he heads, but, you know, heads, but, eh, headbutts him back. Sorry, I'm talking fast because I'm excited. But, um, yeah, um, and then what else happened? Oh, and then uh, Scarlett Johansson, uh, Black Widow, and um, Hawkeye fight. Um, and they say Hawkeye doesn't get that many um, that many lines. He he kind of doesn't, but then again, he kind of he he got more than I thought. Like they made it sound like he wasn't getting that many, but he he got a he got a good amount in there. He got some good screen time, I think. You know, especially being, you know, who he was alongside with. Like, you know, you're trying to squeeze in Hawkeye, who doesn't have his own movie at all. You know, he was just in Thor, like a little bit. You're, tr you know, you're trying to squeeze him in there when you have Thor, who had his own movie, Captain America, who had his own movie, Iron Man, who's like, <laughs> you know, the man. You know, it's just like, I think he had an appropriate amount of time. Scarlett Johansson had more, more time, but you know. There's a reason for that, whatever, but, you know, it was a really good movie. Um, it's, 
it's not the the, the scrolls the Kree. It's oh, I forgot the name, but it's like some alien. But even the director said it's not it's not those guys for a reason. He wanted like because they have such a backstory and there's like so much stuff to cover, which there kind of is, you know. Um, and you could tell like how each character was getting like their own like personal time with people and just like stuff like that. But like yeah man I wish I could just tell you a play by play of like the whole movie but like this movie starts off fast like it they like honestly you have to be up to date with the movies or else like you're like okay why is this happening what what's this guy doing who's this guy who's this guy it's like like Loki shows up like right away like you know the cube starts acting up and then Loki shows up like okay um and it's crazy, you know. Loki shows up, whoops everybody's ass, uh, controls Hawkeye for like half the movie. That's why him and Scarlett Johansson got in a fight. And then like uh, the Hulk's not even until like the end of the movie. Um, and obviously when he becomes Hulk, he loses control. That's why he fights Thor. Um, and then Thor comes out of nowhere. Like Thor, where'd you show up? Like he showed up in like kind of like the beginning of the movie. Well. I say like two, two fourths of the movie. Like, just showed up out of nowhere on you know on one of the planes. Like, what? And that's why him and Iron Man fought because Thor came out of nowhere, took Loki, and then you know, that's why Iron Man's like, okay, I don't care if he's you know good or not. You know, we're taking Loki, and then he could have him afterwards or some shit like that, or after he tells us where the cube is, you know. And like, man, everybody was such a beast in this in this movie. Hawkeye had his time to shine. Cap had his time to shine. Thor had his time to shine. Iron Man had his fucking time to shine. Even the Hulk was a beast. Hulk was like, oh. and the funny thing is, people were like, this movie kind of hyped up for like them making another Hulk movie. And I understand why, because now, I I kind of want to see a more a Hulk movie. And like. Like, the last other Hulks were kind of, like, he was just a beast. He couldn't understand. You know, like, the the last one he was kind of understanding, but it, was, it wasn't, it was like, you know. You know? I think with this one, they made Hulk a little bit more charming at the end. Like, he was a little bit charming. Like, oh, okay. Like, he was funny, too. Um, yeah, so. Trains passing by, so. I think I want to cut it short and just basically tell you guys to go watch the movie. Oh, it's such a freaking good movie. I'm going to watch it more than once. I know I am. And the funny thing is, the only superhero movie that I've seen more than once is uh, Batman the Dark Knight. I've seen that three times in the theaters. Um, every other movie, I'm, I'm a Green Lantern fan. And I, was, I told myself I'm going to see Green Lantern in IMAX and 3D, all this stuff. And the movie didn't come out the way I wanted it to. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't get to see it as many times as, you know, as a true fan should have. But I wasn't really happy with the end result. And that's why I was excited about the Avengers is because a lot of people were just talking about it like, oh, it's it's good, it's good, it's good, you know, overseas because they already seen it, and they were right. It's it's a, it's a really good movie. Um, but yeah, so watch it. You should really watch it. Thumbs up if you haven't thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Favorite or comment before you make me vomit. I like saying that. Um, like me on Facebook. Uh. The link's going to be down below. I actually really like when people like me on Facebook. It makes me feel special. So yeah, like me on Facebook. It makes me happy. So it's pretty new. I'm pretty new to the face, to the FBs, to the Facebooks. So I don't have that many friends. And so when I get new ones, I'm like, oh, snaps. People like me. So yeah. Um, and plus, that's a way to keep up to date with the movies and stuff. and Or movies, videos that I do. Man, I'm ready to fall asleep. It's like 3.15. So excited about this movie. I just wanted to do the review. Sorry if it comes out crappy, but <laughs> I'm just so sleepy. I'm going to dream about the Avengers tonight. And then tomorrow I'm going to go to Target and just look for toys. <laughs> Thanks for watching.